Honestly, all this fuss over something so simple. Well, you do keep making me take baths. <laughs> At least the worst's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Nash, 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 nash. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 nash,
pitch squelchy underfoot, we kick off with a magic muddy manoeuvre. Kicks on the head and all over his head. <laughs> now the dogged defender with his dynamite right foot. Uh, feet. Go on, Nasher. <laughs> 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 Need some food. Hungry, Nasha? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Fish, what is going on with you? You don't think he's ill, do you? Well, if he is, you'd never know it. He even smells nice. He's been acting weird ever since he was in Claudius's bath. It's like he's turning into a C A T. Yeah. A what? A cat, Pyphis. Oh. Yeah. I promise I'll never let Mum wash you with the sprouts again, Paul. Ah, young Dennis, your hairy hound has been at my flower beds. Huh? Or should we take him to the vet? Can't. After Nash's last checkup, the vet emigrated to Africa to give fillings to lions. Hmm, I've got an idea. Reflexes are okay. <laughs> These eyes are okay. Energy levels are definitely okay. Oh, did there. Okay, 
menaces. Time for a day off school. Got the stink stench, Curly? She ick. Essence of cabbage, cauliflower, bees' nappies, rotten fish and bend juice. <laughs> Let's wear this on ourselves and nobody will want us in their classroom. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Dennis! Oops. Oh. Finish cleaning Mr. Detester's car. I even cleaned the inside. The inside? <laughs> oh. 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 What's going on, Curly? Let's take a kid to work day. I'm going to a games factory. Avatar analyst. And I'm going to the mayor's office for the day. The mayor's office? You want to be mayor? Not me, Paul. He wants to go into politics. He'll be president one day. And I'll be his official pie taster. Headmaster's assistant, yes! <laughs> A whole extra day in school. <laughs> Beano Town Police Department? Me? Daddy! Jet pilot. Sorry, Angel Face, but uh, uh, mm, under the circumstances, we thought you might suit something a little more outdoors. Uh, how about postal officer? What? Good morning, Mr. Postman Girl. Lovely day, isn't it? It. What is that smell? <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, just a deadly Amazonian virus. I couldn't possibly go to work. Cough. Ah, ah, oh, disgusting. <laughs> All better. Enjoy your day. Aha, they've nabbed the little blighter at last. Ben, this calls for a celebration. I'll get the ginger nut biscuits. Sergeant Tinkle, you get the fizzy pop. <laughs> Trouble in Beano Town. A trouble-free day is a good day for a police officer, Dennis. This is so boring. Right, Nasha? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, oh, Dennis, no. There's no dogs allowed here. Well, Nasha's my police dog, Sergeant. Nasha, Nasha! Calling Sergeant Slipper. We have a situation in Beano Town Park. Roger, on my way. My name's not Roger. Out. Okay, not Roger, out. We're on our ways. Yes! Start the siren! Woohoo! Lesson one. We don't use the noise light unless it's an emergency. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait for me. Where's my badge? Constable Menace and Police Dog Nasha. Nasha! What's the situation? Sorry, take a kid to work day. I got Dennis. <laughs> work! Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, you strange hooded figure, put your hands up! <laughs> it's just a garden gnome. It's not even stuck on properly. Amateur. <laughs> Hold on, this is Mum's gnome. How'd it get here? Hmm. Because you put it here, most likely. Right. Let me just get my pencil out and my pad. OK, where were you in the early hours of the morning, Dennis? No, oh, hang on. No, this wasn't me. I'd have used my own special formula menace glue. Hmm. It's clear we're dealing with a master prankster. What? It's just gnoming. Gnoming? Yeah. Taking gnomes and putting them in funny places. I was doing that before I could walk. Uh... Hey! I always put them back. Urgent call from the mayor's office. Report of a gnome theft. Oh. On our way! Hey! I was going to say that. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mayor, sir. Mayor. That gnome is a scrimp family heirloom. I must get him back. <laughs> hey, pie face. How's the job going? <laughs> oh, it's a lot of work, but... I'm getting through it. Here he is. Oh, that's just Paul. Hey, that's enough of your naughty tricks, mister. No way for a president to behave. Huh? Slipper, why haven't you arrested anyone yet? I have a suspect under surveillance right now. Huh? That's not good 
enough, Slipper. What you need is someone who can get into the mind of a master prankster, who, who can anticipate their every move and keep us one step ahead so that we can catch him. Yes, but who? Who, I say? Whom? Huh? Huh? Huh. Oh, right. I'll need my crack team. But Mayor Scrimp, Dennis can't be trusted. He and his friends are probably responsible. Exactly. And if he didn't do it, he better find out who did. And if he doesn't find out who did it, then he'll get the blame for doing it. <laughs> Nash? Calling all units. Calling all units. Come in. Reports of gnomes all over Beano Town. Let's go. Let's go. Dennis, stop stealing my lines. Hey, are you crossing or not? <laughs> Come in, number 50, fella. Your time is up. Ah, Walter, why don't I show you how to use the PA system? No, oh, gnomes, we're being attacked. <laughs> OK, Sergeant, let's take a look at the evidence. Right. We've sent soil samples to the lab to trace where the gnomes have come from. It'll take up to three weeks. Nah, we've got our own lab. The Abyssinian Tripound Lab. Do these gnomes match all the missing gnome reports, Curly? Well, it appears so. Dennis's house, Mayor Scrimp. Hey! Uh, oh. Mrs. Miggins, Mrs. Creature, Auntie Beryl. Can you verify that police dog, Nasher? Nasher! The whole town's been gnomed. Everyone except the Colonel. But he's got the largest collection of garden gnomes in town. Exactly. Time to pay him a little visit. Yes, I heard the reports on my electric radio. So I ordered my men into the bunker until reinforcements arrived. Seen anyone suspicious lurking around, Colonel? Well, only that hoodlum next door. Wait, that's you. Sergeant, arrest this blatherskite. Oh, sorry, Colonel. The blatherskite's with me. Special constables. So, Colonel, we're going to need two of your most able gnomes. Official police business. Oh, right, yes, of course. Ha! 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 Right, everyone, the bait is planted. Stay quiet and still, and the gnome napper will walk straight into our trap. <laughs> Who's for bangers and ah! What are you doing, Colonel? We're off surveillance. Hmm. A medal for supplying rations to a covert operation. <sighs> the gnomes are on the move. <gasps> They've gone to the wheels. Where to, Curly? They're turning left near Mrs. Megan's house. We're about to go fast. Buckle up. And now we saw the road like ground eagles. Follow those gnomes! <laughs> Second gear. Third. Yeah, we're cooking. Oh, uh, is there a cereal bar in the back? It stopped right here. Where are the gnomes? Well, there's Sprout. Well, where's Tinkle? Oh, poo. What's that smell? It's like cabbage, cauliflower... These nappies? Rotten fish. And bin juice. <gasps> Angel face! <laughs> well, if it isn't Constable Menace. It was you! Pretty impressive prank, Angel Face. But you're no match for a genius in a striped jumper. You're right, Dennis. You are the master prankster, not me. Ah, uh, Angel Face? You? It can't be! That's right, Sergeant. I did it. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, yes, right then. But it wasn't my fault. It was Dennis. He made me do it. Dennis! Right. Come with me. Nash? I knew it was you all along. I've got a nose for these things, you know. Well, you and your nose are going to have to catch me first. Nash? Nash? Oh, Dennis! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Market just waiting to be menaced. Are you sure we're in the right place, Dennis? I don't see any fleas. <laughs> Flea market just means jumble seal, Payface. Exactly. And that's where Nasha comes in. We're going to put the fleas into <laughs> flea market. <laughs> nash, nash. <laughs> A rare baked bean tin. Good work, Nasha. We menaced the whole market. Not quite. What? I knew you'd try something like that. You're so predictable. <laughs> See that coming, did you? You'll never outthink a menace. Wait, what's this? The Book of the Menace. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. <laughs> Dennis, your menacing days are numbered. Walter's watering his flowers. But now my flower is going to water Walter. Uh, hey, Walter, want to smell my flower? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Menace. Now why don't you smell my flower? Huh? <laughs> 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 Oh, Walter got lucky with the flower prank, but there's no way he'll be ready for the stink balloon. <laughs> oh, what's in the stuff? My secret stink recipe. The sweat from my gym socks, an overripe gorgonzola pie. Oh, I was saving that. And something I combed out of Nash's fur after he rolled around in a dung heap. Walter, this time, when he opens the gate, he'll set off my patented jelly nator. <laughs> I made a few modifications to your jelly contraption, Dennis. I think it's a big improvement. <laughs> Face it, Dennis, you're completely outclassed, outwitted, and outpranked. <laughs> We've got to find out how Walter's predicting all our pranks. <laughs> right, I've hooked up the Nash cam to your computer, Dennis. OK, Nasha, ready for your mission? Nash, Nash! <laughs> Good luck, Nasha. Nasha, Nash! Nashcam is online. Ah, oh, he's just doing homework. Go in closer. OK. <gasps> That's not homework. Those are pranks. No use spying on me, Minis. I'm always one step ahead of you. <laughs> So that's how Walter keeps beating us. But where did he get that book? <laughs> this is the last place we pranked Walter. Maybe it's where he found that book. Go away. There's no one here. Hey, we come in peace. We're not here to menace. I just want to know about a book. It's like an old diary with, with diagrams and, and pictures in it. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I sell a lot of books. Yes, but this one was filled with instructions for pranks. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I do remember that one. The Book of the Menace. Never seen anything like it before. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. The Book of the Menace? Yes, that's right. I got it from an old lady who was getting rid of a box of junk. 
In fact, there she is now. Huh? Gran? <laughs> Hello, Dennis. Hello, Nasha. Gran, do you know anything about the Book of the Menace? Well, I should do. It's mine. Yours? Of course. It's been passed down through generations. Menacing runs in our family, and all the pranks are written down in that There are even some from when your dad was a kid. Your dad gave up menacing when you were born, so I was going to pass it on to you on your next birthday. Then why did you give it away to the flea market? I didn't. <gasps> Unless... Oh! <gasps> no, it must have fallen into the box when I was clearing the attic. <gasps> Where is it now? Walter's got it. What? No! It's got all the menacing secrets in it. Every prank, every trick, from water balloons to whoopee cushions. Why, in the wrong hands, it could be the end of menacing forever! Oh, Walter. Give me that book. It's my grand's. Oh. <laughs> How do you like your eggs, Dennis? Boiled, fried or rotten? You'll never beat me, Dennis. I have all your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Nash? Oh, Nasha, I had a terrible nightmare. Walter started using Gran's book to pull pranks on us. It was horrible. <laughs> what? It's given me an idea. Come on. It's time for Operation Switchback. What's Operation Switchback? The plan to get the Book of the Menace back from Walter. Then why don't we call it Operation Get the Book of the Menace Back from Walter? Because it's a secret. We need a code word. Oh. Oh, can we call it Operation Pi? Uh, fine. Operation Pi. <coughs> Mission accomplished. I'll bait the trap. Nasha, you and Curly run communications. What about me? Look out. Go. Oh. And pie eating. Yes. Don't try and pull any pranks, Dennis. I'm ready for anything. Look, I know you've been out pranking me lately. Glad to see you know when you're beaten by a superior intellect. But I'm not ready to hand over my pranking crown just yet. How about a challenge? A final prank-off to see who can play the most tricks in Beano Town. No, oh, don't be absurd. I don't pull pranks. Unless they're on you. Ah, but if you win, I'll hand over my pranks and give up menacing forever. <gasps> no more menacing? Oh, I'll be a Beano Town hero. They'll build statues to me. Oh, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Given up? Just waiting for the right moment. You're too late. Look. <laughs> <laughs> You're finished! I win the prank off! I pranked everyone in the street! You? <laughs> no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, but it was just to stop Dennis. It was all his idea. Then why have you got the Book of the Menace? No, no it's not mine. It's his. <laughs> <laughs> Work team. So what are we going to do now, Dennis? Try out some of the pranks in that book? As soon as I've written this one down, Walter should have known. You can't learn menacing from a book. You have to be born with it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 